all right hello everyone we've reached 2000 and more subscribers thank you all for subscribing and watching my previous videos on how to create a massive terrain and unreal engine this is the terrain that i've created with world machine and if you want to know how to create such a terrain just go back and check out my previous videos so in my previous videos i noticed few comments there that okay this is cool how to create this world using the world machine is okay and it's fast but this world is empty and we expect more so the idea of making the videos short like from 10 to 15 minutes the idea is to break down each step of creating huge massive worlds so now if you watch my previous videos you know how to create this terrain you know how to use auto material in order to get these uh, cool textures based on the height of the terrain and now in this video i'm gonna focus and show you how to populate your terrain with procedural tools and how to generate different shapes again this tutorial will be short i'm gonna go straight forward to the topic so let's get started the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to edit editor preference just click here and in the search details type procedural proceed and here procedural foliage should be turned on and this tool is experimental tool in unreal engine 5 you can find it in unreal engine 4 too but this tool is ultra powerful to populate huge areas and get different results so I just turn it on and what you need to do is when you turn it on you need to reset Unreal Engine 5 so just close it and open it again I already did that to save a little bit of time so what we need to do now we've already set up our scene with Word Machine we, we set up the textures and here I create uh, a folder spawners I'm gonna right click and I'm go going to go to the foliage and I'm gonna choose procedural foliage spawner. I'm gonna name it tree spawner, 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 all right. So this will be my spawner and this object will spawn my objects with just one click cross a bounding box that I select. The next step that you need to do is you need to create the information which objects should be spawned by the spawner. So I'm gonna click again right click here I'm gonna go to the foliage and I'm gonna select static mesh foliage so if you're using Unreal Engine 4 you can find those two the procedural foliage spawner and the static mesh foliage here under this tab you can find them here if you are using Unreal Engine 4 but in 5 they move them over here so the next thing that we need to do is create the static mesh foliage so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna name it tree uh, spawned object object one. So this will be my first tree to spawn, my first tree mesh. I've already downloaded three different trees from the Megascans library, and I'm gonna double click on this tree spawner. So what we need to do here is here you can select the mesh. And you need to plug the mesh that needs to be spawned so i'm gonna go into my first tree i'm gonna drag and drop it over here and it's ready here you can find a lot of settings about spawning the tree so let's talk about a little bit more align to normal will align the spawner to the normals of the terrain i'm gonna show this in action here in the procedural you have density fall off and here it can operate with a curve there is a collision radius shade radius i'm going to go through them uh, with the simulation of the spawning but here are all the settings uh, that we're going to cover uh, while we spawn the tree all right so i just link my tree i'm going to click save i'm going to exit and i'm going to go into my spawners folder so right now we've created the spawner and we've created the object that need to be spawned and what we need to do is we need to double click on our spawner and here in the foliage types you can press the, this uh, plus button and we need to drag and drop our first spawner 
Keep in mind that this is not only for foliage. You can spawn trees, you can spawn rocks, you can spawn, uh, for example, grass. You can spawn everything that you want with this tool. You can even spawn uh, some other uh, objects like uh, car tires or whatever you would like. So I'm going to click save right now. I'm going to close it. And now let's do some spawning. Let me find my... Uh, player start position it is here all right so i'm gonna spawn a few trees over here i'm gonna drag and drop my spawner and as you can see we have a bounding box already in our scene so this will be uh, the bounding box the range that we're gonna spawn uh, our objects so what i want to do is i want to scale it a little bit let's play with five all right let's move it up a little bit like that and what we need to do is we need to scroll all the way down and click resimulate and we have spawned few trees all right let me click on play and we have spawned trees over here that's pretty cool but let me start tweaking them up first i'm gonna click here and let's start experimenting with few of the settings over here let me just adjust everything i'm gonna select the tree spawner to be 10 10 10 and i'm gonna click again resimulate so we have a little bit more trees all right so align to normal as you can see over here they're aligned to the normal of the ground if i turn it off and click save and click resimulate you can see that they just aligned to the uh, y-axis of our scene again i'm gonna turn it on and here you can see that uh, they're a little bit off from the terrain if i turn it on resimulate they're aligned to the normals of the terrain so this is what the aligned normal does so from the collision tab we are saying how much our objects are colliding into each other so let me show you if i type 10 10 now we're going to create a cluster of those trees i click resimulate and you can see how they are clustering to each other if i turn down the shade radius to 5 they're going to cluster even further collision to 5 they're going to cluster even further so if you want to stack up your uh, meshes you can use the collision radius and shade radius so i'm going to put 150 just to move them a little bit like that all right so the next thing is number of steps so if you hover on each box you're gonna know what this does so the number of steps is the number of times we age the species and spread its seeds so if i put one they're gonna be very young and very small if i put 10 they're gonna start getting bigger like uh, 10 years past if i put 50 they're going to be even bigger like that but they they're keeping the bounding box keeping keep this in mind so i'm going to put four as i want them to be a little bit smaller so each one of these parameters you can read it yourself just hover on it and and start reading the description and experiment now i'm going to start experiment a little bit with this to get a good effect so the first thing shading radius 50 100 i'm gonna uh, click on the spread variance to 30 I'm gonna resimulate and let me show you a little bit of the procedural scale so right now our trees the size the scale of our trees are from 1 to 5 I'm gonna place it to 5 and if I resimulate you can see that we have uh, bigger trees that they grow over time and you can control this uh, with a curve all right so from here to here they grow over time all right so you can cast shadows affect dynamic indirect lightning affect distant field lightning cast dynamic shadows etc so everything works perfect here let's summarize from the placement you can place along the normals from the procedural all the things here are telling 
how this spawner will work. So read each of the descriptions and start tweaking them up. And now I'm going to show you how you can add more variants to those trees. I'm going to control C, control V, and this is going to be my second tree. I'm going to drag and drop it over here. Keep in mind that they need to have some changes because if you don't change the parameters, they're going to start overwapping each other. So this is my second, it's done. And let's create one more. This is my third spawner. I'm going to connect it over here. I'm going to change the shade radius to 30. I'm going to change the max scale to 3. I'm going to save it. And now we have three objects to spawn. And I'm going to click on my tree spawner. And from the foliage type, from this array, I'm going to add two new objects. I'm going to link them, save them. And I'm going to click. Uh, where does my respawner go? Let me just find it pretty quick. The spawner here is the spawner. Click, click on Resimulate. And now we have variety in our trees. As you can see, we have this one. We have that one. We have this one also. And we've created this, uh, this procedural trees over here. All right, so if you want to populate a bigger area, let's do it. Let's put 100 and let's just click Resimulate. And we have pretty dense forest. Of course, you can always tweak where they spawn, how they spawn from the, from the settings that I showed you. Let me just run it up. And voila, you have a lot of objects spawned in your scene. So I'm just quickly showing you how to operate with this. You can deep dive and get into depth by exploring all the settings, but this is pretty much how it works. And it can work for everything from foliages to rocks, uh, to props, uh, everything that you can imagine. It can be spawned with this spawner. This is the next step of creating these massive worlds to spawn different stuff procedurally all across your terrain. So you can use multiple spawners. You can use like 50 spawners in your, in your terrain. So here you can spawn this, uh, this type of trees. Some, somewhere else you can spawn different, different foliages based on the height. So let's say here up in the mountains, uh, far away, you want to spawn different objects there, no problem. Create a new spawner, connect all the spawning uh, mesh objects and just spawn them there. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you want to support me here in the description of this video, I left links to my courses. I teach Unreal Engine 5, I teach Maya, I teach Unity and Blender. So if you like something, you can go there, check it out, uh, watch the preview trailer and buy one. This was the next video and the series of creating a massive world. I'm going to keep posting videos about how to advance and create those massive worlds. And in the end, you're going to have a full package how to create such a world in very, very short time. Thank you again. Bye.